Well, I said I said something yesterday on Meet the Press that I think most people got. Of course, um, a few blithering idiots uh, on Twitter did not. Thought I was actually no, no, we're not criticizing the president and his Cairo speech. But what? here's what I think happened. I think the pre and there are there are others who agree with me. Um, I I think the Cairo speech so spooked the mullahs in Iran, and they saw that the Obama speech in Cairo had an impact on the elections in Lebanon. Yeah. That since this was a bad job, they were going to let the moderate win, sort of project a more moderate face to the world because they want to be accepted in the world. But after the president's speech, they said, no, 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 we're not going to give this guy any credit for reforms in this country. And um, I see that as a positive. I think President Obama's challenged tyrants in Iran and across the Middle East. Uh, they're putting them on the hot seat. And while we don't like this result in the short run, there's no doubt a lot of people in the streets that are protesting that aren't going to sit back and allow themselves to be trampled underfoot again heard those messages from Cairo and they're reacting. You, you know, we have Richard Engel coming up to talk about this, obviously, but I don't think there's any reason not to be optimistic about what is happening in the Middle East, given the results in Lebanon, given what you just pointed out, given the pictures that we see on TV of people in the streets in Tehran, mm -hmm. you get the feeling that there's been such a fissure, such a crack, a divide uh, that has taken place in a society like that, that increased freedom and increased yeah. relationships, good relationships with us, with the West, are inevitable. And, 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 and let me say also, and so now that I've upset Republicans, let me upset Democrats. Go ahead. Um, the fact that there is a democracy, though it is chaotic in Iraq, in Iraq right now, the fact that a democracy is next door, that they vote on free elections even though it's messy and ugly, that is not a fact that goes unnoticed in Iran. So you have the United States uh, in actions over the past decade that really are, are pressing down on these mullahs. And I think the Cairo speech last week especially has sent a message to the people of Iran that they don't have to live this way much longer.